Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a fun project with a 7 into 4 segment LED display, that is 7 segments with 4 digits. So we will be using the SafeSec library to make coding and controlling this display a breeze. Let's jump right in. The 7 into 4 segment display is a compact way to show numbers, letters, etc. With the SafeSec library, controlling each segment becomes incredibly simple, making it perfect for projects like digital clocks, timers, and more. But what exactly are they and how do they work? The 7 segment 4 digit display consists of 4 individual 7 segment displays arranged side by side. Each digit has 7 segments labeled from A to G, which are used to form the numbers and certain letters. There are 4 pins D1, D2, D3, D4 for controlling in which digit the LED should light up. There is also an optional decimal point for each digit which can be used to display decimal numbers or as an indicator. Unlike a single 7 segment display where each segment is controlled directly, a 4 digit display shares the segment control lines across all 4 digits. Multiplexing allows you to control which digit is active at any given time. The microcontroller rapidly switches between each digit, turning one at a time while updating the segments. This happens so quickly that our eyes perceive all 4 digits as being lit simultaneously. This approach reduces the number of pins needed to control the display. For example, instead of needing 28 pins, 7 segments into 4 digits, you only need 12 pins for the 7 segments and 4 for the digit control lines. It can be either common anode or common cathode. When it comes to controlling a 7 segment 4 digit display with an Arduino, the SafeSec library is a lifesaver. It takes care of the complex multiplexing and allows you to control multiple digits with single commands. Instead of manually setting each segment and digit, you can use the library to display enter numbers or text or cross all four digits with just a few lines of code. This makes it much easier to work with and saves you a lot of time. Now that you have a solid understanding of how the 7 segment 4 digit displays work, let's jump right into the code. We will see how to use the SafeSec library to control our displays and create a single project that cycles through different numbers and text. First things first, let's wire up our display and connect each segment to the corresponding pins on your microcontroller. It is better to use resistors with this. We have three example codes that comes with this library. Want to test the whole display? Enter one to act like a counter. It goes on and on. And this one to show different characters after a certain interval. I have made a simpler and better code for that purpose. The problem with using the delay function is that if we use the delay function, the display may not even get lit because of the multiplexing thing. In this code, we include the subset library. It contains all necessary functions to control the segments on our display. Then create an instance of subset class called subset. Then we set up a few variables to help control the timing without using the delay function. Display index keeps track of which text should be shown next, and display on is a flag that helps us toggle the display on and off. In the setup, we assign the pins and all. In the loop, we get current time using the list function. And if the display on is true, we will show the next piece of text based on the value of display index. After displaying, we set display on to false so that display will turn off in the next cycle. We also increment the display index to show the next text. functions that will be worth talking are the sefsec.set number and sefsec.set care. Uh, just input the number in the sefsec.set number function and that's it. If you want to specify a decimal, just put a comma and specify the number. The sefsec.set care helps to display a string of up to 4 characters. Not all letters are possible due to limited segments available. And that's it. I hope you learned how to use the 7x4 segment LED display. We'll be making more cool and useful 
projects using this and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials see you in the next one bye